it's 8 o'clock. And welcome to the Friday Night Fun Dead on the K9 RFD repeater in Rockford. My name is Jim. My call is K9 GCR. I'm okay here at Freeport, and I'll be your net control station this evening. The purpose of having this net is what the name applies, to have fun. That's what this hobby of Ramp Radio is all about, in addition to providing emergency communications if one situation warrants. A secondary purpose of this net is providing an on-air meeting place for all Ramp Radio operators. Everybody's welcome to check in. You do not have to be a member of any club, organization, group, or association to participate in this net. All you need is a valid FCC license. This net meets each and every Friday evening at 8 p.m. This repeater has a PL 114.8 plus offset. You need to have that programmed into your radio in order to have access to the repeater. For those of you who may be using older radios that do not have PL capability, or if the PL on your radio is not working properly, you can check into the Friday Night Fun Net by using the repeater output frequency, the straight 195 simplex. If I hear you, I will acknowledge you and then check you into the net. If you're on the six, if you can hear the repeater, but you can't get to it due to the conditions or you're too far away from it, you can give me a call on the Friday Night Fun Net Central Hotline, area code 815-232-FNFN, 232-3636, local report number. I'll take your check-in over the phone, but try to check in on the radio first. And by the way, before we move on, uh, say your prayers for the people down in Louisiana, Texas, New York, New Jersey, and uh, uh, Pennsylvania, affected by uh, Ida. You know that the Salvation Army, Saturnet, and these Aries uh, groups in the East States are working, the, they're working their you-know-what's off. They're trying to provide emergency. Their, their phones and internets are down. But uh, when they say when all else fails, ham radio works. So, uh, okay, keep these people in your thoughts and prayers and uh, pray for the uh, ham radio operators. Tony N9RB has been deployed down to Louisiana. At least that's right or where I heard he was going unless orders have been changed. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take, uh, first we're going to take short time of stations. If you have a... Uh, Family time, if you'd rather concentrate your drive, you've got something else going on, you can't stay for the net, we'll take your short time of mobile check-ins. If you have traffic, we'll do your traffic right away. After that, we'll take general check-ins from uh, northern Illinois. Well, let's do that again. After that, we'll take general check-ins. First, we'll take general check-ins from northern Illinois. Next, we'll do general check-ins from southern Wisconsin. After that, we'll take general check-ins from anywhere in northern Illinois or southern Wisconsin. When you check in the net state whether or not you have traffic, your traffic consists of breakfast, uh, and vest, bike rides, or marathons. And, uh, okay, we'll do our regular features, the uh, tech net. You have any uh, uh, technical questions? Are you having a problem with your power supply or amplifier? What kind of an antenna do you want to put up on your tower? You ask your technical questions, we'll try to answer them for you. Let me reset. Then we'll take, uh, we'll, we'll do the uh, W9 and the Gene Duncan DX Corner. In honor of our late great friend and colleague, Gene Duncan, W9 GD, the king of DX. Every time you check into this net, you always have a DX report. Then we'll have our swap net. You have any items to buy, sell, trade, or want related to hobbies, perhaps trade, or computers, we'll do that. I wasn't sure what uh, uh, topic to come up with, but since this is Labor Day, this is a depressing thought, I thought I'd ask everybody uh, what their plans are for Labor Day. I've done this in years past. Personally, I wish this were Memorial Day instead of Labor Day. But uh, we'll uh, go from there. Okay, I had 43 check-ins last week, and the net uh, went for 2 hours and 40 minutes. We'll see how many chances we get tonight, and we'll see uh, how long we go. And, uh, okay, with all so-called formalities out of the way, let's get underway. I do have one early bird check-in that was at Bob N9ZXK here in Freeport. Okay, do we have any short time on low stations? So I just check in the Friday night fun at this time. Please call now. Alpha, Alpha 9, Victor Uniform, Michael in Janesville. No traffic. RPN, we got to check in earlier. We might check in later. 
Now it's going to be dirty. Hey, Jimmy, this is Tom here in Janesville, WI-9 Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. I'm going to go ahead and be an early bird check-in, or uh, early check-in tonight, too. i got to get up early to, uh, in the morning there. I'm uh, taking a group from uh, a bar in Madison to the uh, Badger game in uh, Madison there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and check in early so I can go to bed. AC9 Geo, Larry in Rockton, and I'm just going to be in short time again tonight, uh, Jimmy. Uh, talk to you later, AC9 Geo. AC9 NW, Tom and Roscoe, short time, no traffic. Okay, I'm um, careful. I'm trying to be careful not to key up so soon. It was a good thing I did. We got uh, five stations checked in. AA9VU, Mike in uh, Gainesville. I've got you and, uh, checked in. Southern, you have a good, hopefully, have a good Labor Day weekend. And uh, we'll uh, talk to you down the hall. Thank you for checking in. N9RPN, Mel in beautiful Wesley Willows in Rockford, recuperating from the back surgery. Checking on, in on the HD. Okay, Mel, I know you're checking early. You're definitely welcome to recheck in the, the, during the net. So thank you for checking in. And by the way, folks, keep, uh, keep those cards and letters going to, uh, to Mel. I'll give you the address in a few minutes here. Uh, WI9WTF, uh, Tom in uh, Janesville, have a good time at the football game uh, uh, tomorrow there. Uh, don't uh, drink too much. <laughs> At 7-3, AC9GO, uh, Larry the Rah Rah Board President, we got you checked in. Thank you for checking in. Have a good evening. AC, we'll definitely catch you on Monday night. AC9NW, Tom and Roscoe, I've got you checked in. Thank you for checking in. You have a good Labor Day weekend also. Any more short time or stations like to check in the Friday night fun net? Please call now. N9SBJ Rockford, Scott, I'll uh, be short time tonight, Jimmy. KD9SBA, Matt, mobile, short time, no traffic. At the beautiful Rock River Yacht Club and Robert got you checked in. Uh, Scott Southery, have a have a good evening and have a good weekend. Uh, now you were checked in. KD9 SBA Matt down Silver Valley Oval County got you checked in. Uh, Southery, you have a good evening. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, those of you who checked in short time are always welcome to recheck in during the net. Okay, thank you for checking in. Are there any more short time of stations for the Friday night fun net? Please call now. Uh, Jimmy, you pushed the wrong button there. You're talking digital. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what happened there. Thank you very much. I, I don't know uh, what happened. Thanks, Rick. Let me, I'll repeat the driving there. N9SBJs. Uh, Scott, at the beautiful Rock River Yacht Club, we got you checked in. So three, have a good evening. And uh, KD9SBAs. Uh, Matt, down in Ogle County, I've got you checked in. And you uh, have, have a good evening. Enjoy your uh, uh, weekend. Any more short time or mobile stations for Friday Night Fun Net? Please call now. KC9 QPL, Paul Lowspert. Short time, no traffic. Thank you, P.L. Paul and the Love Spark. We got you checked in, Paul. Thank you for checking in. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy your holiday weekend. We'll catch you on the Monday night net. Thank you for checking in. Any more short time or bowl stations for the Friday night fun net? Please call now. KD9 SHG. KD9 Sierra Hotel Golf. Short time, no traffic. K-I-S-H-G, short time, gotcha. How did school go with that today? 
Oh, it's going good. Just on my break, uh, so I thought I'd uh, run out to the car and uh, check in real quick. Okay, sounds good. Thank you for checking the Friday Night Fun Net. Uh, have a good evening. Enjoy. Uh, study hard. Uh, uh, and have a good evening. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, we'll talk to you down the hall. Thank you for checking in. Any more short time of bowl stations for the Friday Night Fun Net? Please call now. Okay, we had nine short time stations that uh, checked in, so uh, we'll go ahead with general check ins. At this time, I will take general check ins in Northern Illinois for the Friday Night Fun Net. Please call now. AC9 GCR, this is W9JTC. Good evening, Jimmy. KD9 HKX, Larry and Roscoe. No traffic. K9 KZT, Larry in Rockford. KD9 MED, Mike and Rochelle, recording. K9 FEO, Justin Rockford. KD9 QDP, Rick in Rockford, and you're not. Okay, I got slow check-ins coming in. This is great. Okay. W9KTC, Jamie and Robert, got you checked in. I'll get back to you a few minutes around table. Thank you for checking in. KD9HKX, Larry and Roscoe, I've got you checked in. We'll get back to you also for the round table. Thank you for checking in. K9KZT, Larry and Robert, the king of CW. Got you checked in, uh, uh, Larry. Great. Uh, cold practice uh, sessions we had this uh, this week. Thanks for doing that for us. KD9 MBD, Mike and Rochelle, we are recording the Friday Night Fun Net for uh, Friday, September 3rd, 2021. Got you checked in. Uh, I'll get back to you a few minutes for the round table, Mike. Thank you for checking in. Justin, K9 FEO, beautiful signal tonight. Justin, I've got you checked in. We'll uh, get back to you a few minutes for the round table. Thank you for checking in. KD9 QDP, uh, uh, Rick and uh, Robert, I've got you checked in. Uh, Rick, I'll get back to you a few minutes around the table also. Thank you for checking in. Any more general check-ins from Northern Illinois for the Friday Night Fun Net? Please call now. KD9MAP, Kerry and Rockford. KD9MAP, Kerry and Rockford, the, the Duke of Digital... DX, I've got you uh, uh, checked in, uh, Kerry. I'll get back to you a few minutes. Well, of course, I, I'm, I know you'll have a DX report later on. You'll give us in a few minutes here. But thank you for checking in. We'll also get back to you a few minutes around the table. Any more general check-ins from Northern Illinois for the Friday Night Fun Net? Please call now. Okay, this is case on GCR Net Control, the Friday Night Fun Net. Okay, I uh, checked myself in, so let's, uh, we have a good turnoff in Northern Illinois. Let's see if we can get just a good turnoff in Southern Wisconsin. Any stations in Southern Wisconsin would like to check in the Friday Night Fun Net. Please call now. KC9 RGG, Norm in Orfordville, Wisconsin. RGG, Norman Orfordville, Wisconsin. Got you checked in, Norm. I'll get back to you a few minutes around the table. And thank you for checking in. Any more general check ins from Southern Wisconsin? The Friday Night Fun Net. Please call now. Well, uh, this is for, uh, Friday Night Fish Friday Night in Wisconsin. Everybody's at their favorite bar, restaurant, tavern, eating their uh, catfish, buffalo, carp, bullhead, northern pike, walleye, muskies, or crappies. You, uh, those of you in the Milwaukee area, you're tailgating at uh, American Family Field, formerly Miller Park. 
It was the Brewers game. Uh, you're eating your bullet sausages, hot dogs, brats, kielbasa, and uh, brats right here. Of course, uh, you're all seeing that famous Wisconsin cheese. Okay, at this time, do we have any check-ins from anywhere in northern Illinois or southern Wisconsin? Friday night fun then. Please call now. Whiskey X-Ray 9, Romeo Lima Tango, WX-9 RLT. WX-9 RLT, Ricky and Lust Park. Okay, Ricky, I've got you checked in. I'll get back to you soon, Mr. Rontay. Well, thank you for checking in. Any more general check-ins from anywhere in northern Illinois or southern Wisconsin? Friday night fun day. Please call now. on the block in Winnebago County will check in as, 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 let's see, his name is Jimmy, he just got his license uh, this past uh, uh, Monday, I'm trying to find my list here, oh yeah, K-9-T-J-L, hopefully, uh, hopefully he'll be checking in this net soon, this will be his very first Friday night fun net ever, okay, let's uh, go ahead with the, uh, uh, any more uh, stations from anywhere in northern Illinois or south of Wisconsin? Friday night fun that please call now. Okay, let's go ahead with the uh, the traffic portion. Uh, uh, there will be no Steamson County Aries meeting tomorrow due to the fact that uh, Tony N N A R B R E C is uh, been deployed. Yeah, the last I heard, he was supposed to go to Louisiana or Texas, unless his orders were, might, might change. He might be a, he might be going to do New York or New Jersey or whatever. So uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, also, there is a uh, we were supposed to have a uh, uh, monthly meeting the Seams County Repair Association next uh, Saturday, September 11th. I do not know whether that will take place or not. We were going to have a picnic out at. Uh, Great part where it was a pilot. Everybody bought their stuff. Uh, George and N9WSQ, our club president, is going to notify the officers to see what they want to do, whether they want to uh, go ahead and have the picnic or, or not, with the situation being what it is. So uh, that's uh, that's about it. Our next VE testing session will take place on Saturday, October 2nd at 12.30 p.m. in the Freeport Public Library. For more information, contact... Uh, uh, Brandon K9 LOA. Does anybody else have any traffic you'd like to pass along for the net? Okay, let's go ahead with the tech net. Is anybody, uh, uh, hey, are you having a problem with your, uh, power supply or amplifier, what kind of an antenna do you want to put up on your tower? You ask your technical questions, we'll try to answer them for you. Does anybody have any technical questions they'd like to bring before the net this time? Okay, no technical questions. Uh, anybody is welcome to bring up any technical questions, even the, uh, any time during the net. They don't have to wait for this assignment to do it. So we're not a formal net here. So okay, now let's go to the W9 Gene Duncan DX corner. This is in honor of our late great friend and colleague Gene Duncan W9 GD, the king of DX. Wherever he checked in his net, he always had DX report. Okay, does anybody have any DX reports you'd like to pass along at this time? AD9 MAP. AD9 MAP. Okay, uh, Gary and Robert. Okay, what do you got for us? Here's KD9 MAP. Thank you, Jimmy. Good evening, everybody. I uh, I didn't get on the radio as much this week. I took I don't know three days off, something like that. But I still managed to squeeze out uh, QSOs with ten countries. Uh, no new countries, 
I got another, I picked up another Asiatic Russia. I got uh, RA9H in Tomsk, which is about 2,000 miles north of Nepal. Brief reset. The most distant contact I had this week was VK6EI. He's in Perth, Australia. That's 10,800 miles on a short path. Uh, it's about as far away as you can get for a land, for land-based communications. There are, there are smaller islands in the Indian Ocean, but there's not a whole lot of hams there, but there's a lot of hams in Perth. A brief reset. Uh, Jimmy, here's a little geography trivia for you. Luxembourg is the last monarchy on Earth to be ruled by a duke. KD9MAP. Oh, I was not aware of that. Okay. So let's see. Well, uh, 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 Monaco is also was ruled by a prince. Well, he was a long time prince of uh, uh, Renier or Renier. He married Grace Kelly. The, uh, the movies. Uh, the actress from many back in the 50s. Yeah, yeah that's a, a, a that for sure. Okay, thank you very much for that, that information there. What was that call sign from Asia? I only for Asia and Russia I got RA9 and I couldn't copy the rest of that. That was RA9H, Harry, and the Australian station was VK6EI. And on the on the royalty hierarchy there, a duke is way lower than a prince, way lower. KD nine MAP. Okay, uh, uh, Gary, that we heard from the the Duke of uh, Digital uh, uh, DX. <laughs> Gary, uh, uh, KD nine MAP. Okay, Gary, I'll get back to you a few minutes around table. Well, thank you for participating in the. DX corner. Does any other station have any DX reports they'd like to pass along? Okay, let's go ahead with the swap net. All items to be bought, sold, or traded must be related to the hobbies of amp radio or computers. All items to be bought, sold, or traded must be the property of or possession of the person who wants to get rid of stuff. You may mention the prices over the air, but any handling should be done either in person or over, over the telephone. Also, no commercial business of any kind is allowed. Is there any station with swap net traffic at this time? Please go ahead. Thank you, Zoe. K9KZT. Okay, uh, Larry, what do you got for us? Looking to buy uh, a. Uh Simple two meter rig as a backup. It could be a two meter handheld or a base station or a mobile rig. It doesn't really matter. Uh, looking at kind of low price because it's just going to be a, a backup. Uh, needs to have the PL tones. Does not have to have uh, uh, any other band with it. Just two meters is fine. So my email is l dot l i s l e at USA.net. My phone is 815-397-9595. Back to you, K9 KZT. Okay. Uh, anybody who has any old uh, a, a two meter, the rigs or HDs or base units, they're, they're not using anymore. Larry, K9 KZT is uh, looking for one. You can contact him at uh, l.lisle at the usa.net or give him a call at area code 815-397-9595. Area code 815-397-9595. Anybody have any questions or comments? Anybody wants to get back to Larry at this time? Please go ahead. This is 
Sunshine GCR with the Friday Night Fun Net on the K9 RFD repeater in uh, Rockford. Transfer for Friday Night Fun Net Central and Freeport. Okay, Larry, hopefully your computer crashes and your phone rings off the hook. So, uh, 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 thank you for checking and bringing that swap net traffic. We'll get back to you a few minutes at the round table. Does anybody else have any swap net traffic you'd like to pass along? Because you remember earlier, 
Earlier this year, we I asked the question, uh, are you planning, going to have any vegetable garden this year? And we're going to do it again next year, too. Thank you for checking in. Oh, and uh, uh, Larry, enjoy your evening. Enjoy your weekend. We'll definitely catch you on the Monday night net. Uh, uh, so, okay, uh, K-I-K-Z-T, uh, uh, Larry, the uh, KFCW, what's going on with you, uh, uh, Larry? What are you going to be doing uh, this weekend? Well, I'll tell you, Jimmy, this is K-I-K-Z-T. Uh, as Larry said, uh, I'm retired, so it doesn't make that much difference. Uh, but I, have, I don't have any special plans for Labor Day. Uh, and the weather, uh, I have still not put in, in the air conditioner this year. And I've been very comfortable using fans and so forth. So I wore that for my cousin who was in Iowa, now deceased, and I miss her very much. But anyway, she never used a fan, and I couldn't understand it, but it worked. And as far as radio, I worked the VX in West Virginia today <laughs> on 40 meter CW. And uh, unfortunately, I popped the diode. Stand by. In my new receiver, so I had to replace that, and I'll have to get better protection for the front end of that thing from stray RF. And that's about it. And you know, we've got uh, a king and a duke. I think we need the emperor, the emperor of Friday night radio, just like Milton Berle was uh, king of uh, uh, Tuesday night back in the day. I think we ought to crown the emperor. How oh, that would be you. <laughs> so back at you. KC9 GCR, K9 KZT. <laughs> okay, I accept the title. <laughs> that, 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 that sounds great, though, Larry. And you, once again, you did a great, great job with CW, especially with the jambalaya. First up, uh, jambalaya, crawfish, pie, pie billy gumbo. Tonight I'm going to meet my chair meal. First came out with uh, Hank Williams, of course, made popular by G.I. Joe Stafford. <laughs> That's for sure. You always do it. Thank you, thank you, uh, Larry, for uh, 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 checking in and participating in that there. Okay. KD9, uh, uh, by the way, uh, Larry has cold practice Mondays, Tuesdays, and... Uh, uh, Thursday nights, me and we found the respective uh, nets. Monday nights, me and we found the Ra Ra Info net. And Tuesdays and Thursday nights, me and we found the Health and Tech net. All at uh, 7 p.m. or shortly thereafter. Okay. Uh, Mike, Kenny on MED, was recording this net. This is the Friday Night Fun Net for Friday, September 3rd, 2021. Mike, great job recording. Uh, what are you going to be doing this weekend? Hey, Jimmy, KD9MED here. Yep, uh, past number of jobs and stuff, uh, typically I've worked on Labor Days, but uh, this new employer I'm with is actually giving me the day off, so I guess I'm going to uh, enjoy it and uh, take in some sunlight, some fresh air, and uh, uh, just take it easy, basically. This is KD9MED, back to net. of your employer and he gave you the day off. That was great. Okay, uh, Mike, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you for checking in. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy your weekend. Justin, K9FEO, what's going on with you? What are you going to be doing this weekend? K9FEO, Justin, are you still with us? Okay, must be short time. Maybe we'll hear from him later on. Okay, KD9 QDP, Rick and uh, Rockford. What's going on with you? What are you going to be doing this uh, Labor Day weekend? Uh, just about the same thing I've been doing since I've been retired. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. <laughs> okay, Rick, uh, thank you for checking. I'm sure we'll hear from you. Oh, uh, and yes, we will be doing the Friday Night Fun Net Trivia in a few minutes here. And thank you. Thank you for checking in. Thanks for all you do. Uh, okay. Uh, KD9MEP. Carrie, what are you going to be doing this weekend? Oh, this is KD9MEP. 
Oh, this weekend, things I got to get done. I got to go to the bank. I got to, uh, time to mow one half of the lawn. Not sure about Monday, but I'm looking at the forecast, and the, the forecast looks excellent for Monday. So whatever, whatever you plan for that day, the weather will be nice. 89 MAP. Okay, sounds good. You better go to the bank uh, tomorrow because it'll be closed Monday. Yeah, that's the plan. I guess I guess I better check and see if it's open tomorrow, huh? I will. KD9MAP. Okay, uh, now here in Freeport, some of the banks, some of the banks are open till noon. So you might want to check where you do your banking. What time they'll be open uh, tomorrow? Yep, I'm checking at this instant. Okay, sounds good. Thank you to uh, Gary for checking in, participating in the roundtable. I'm sure we'll be here, hearing from you during the tribute segment. Uh, this is case on GCR Net Control, the finite fund that to me, this weekend is just going to be another weekend. So that's a, uh, Monday is going to be a normal Monday. It's not going to seem like a holiday for, for me. That That's it. Uh, nothing planned, just enjoying the, the, the day tomorrow and what have you. KC9 RGG Norm and Orberville. What's going on with you? What are you, what are your plans for this weekend? KC9 GCR, KC9 RGG, and to everybody on the net. Hey Jimmy, I've got a 1936 Alice Chalmers Model E. It's on steel wheels, and I always fire it up on Labor Day. And the neighbors want me to turn it off as soon as I can because it makes one heck of a racket. But I'll be starting that beast up about, oh, probably about noon and run it for 15 or 20 minutes, and that's its moment of glory. And that'll be Labor Day for me. Back to you, Jim. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea there, uh there, uh, Norm. So, yeah, good, good luck with that. Okay, thank you for checking in. I better let you go so you can hit the sack. You have a good evening, and, and, and happy Labor Day to you and your family. We'll, we'll, hopefully we'll catch you next week. Thank you for checking in. <laughs> yeah, that's great. WX9 RLT, Ricky and Love Spark. What's going on with you, Ricky? Uh, what are you going to be doing for the holiday? Well, good evening, Jimmy, and everybody on the net. Uh, not too much going on here. Um, no plans at the moment, just kind of kicking back. So, uh, probably get out there and do some yard work. Um, you know, usually I like the uh, hot weather, but, you know, the summer's been kind of brutal. So I'm going to kick back and take advantage of the uh, the cooler weather. So get a lot of work, yard work done that I've been kind of procrastinating on. So good to hear everybody out there. I'll send it back to you, Jimmy. Great job on the net. WX9 RLD. Thank you very much, uh, Ricky, and thanks for all you what you do for the uh, Skywarn. Let's hope uh, we will not have any more severe weather until uh, next spring. We'll see what happens with that, though. Thank you for checking in. AE9JF, uh, Jim and Lewis Park, what's going on with you? What are you going to be doing this weekend? AE9JF, uh, good evening, Jimmy. Good evening, everyone on the net. Uh, going to just kind of take it easy. Lawn is mowed and the uh, weeds are trimmed, and so uh, the wife is going down to Missouri to spend a week or two with the daughter, so I'll be a bachelor, and uh, have no major plans to do anything. Uh, I did pick uh, the potatoes out of my little patio garden today and got almost as many as I planted, so uh, success there. And the tomatoes keep uh, ripening, and uh, we'll be doing some canning here in the not-too-distant future. Other than that, it's uh, sit back and relax for a few days. So uh, with that, uh, I'll turn it back to Net AE9JF. Okay, so sounds good there, Jim. Thank you for checking the Friday night fun day. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy your weekend. That concludes my list. Are there any more stations who'd like to check the Friday night fun at this time? Please call now. K2 Charlie 9, Charlie Foxtrot Lima, Mike and Rockton, no traffic. Okay.
Casey, uh, stand by. Casey 9 CFL, Mike and Rockton have got you checked in. Uh, there's another station trying to check in, but uh, you are not making it. I'm getting nothing but noise or static. You might want to increase your power or change the location. Let's try that one more time, please. Okay, case 9 CFL, uh, Mike and Rockton, what's going on with you? What are you going to be doing this uh, weekend? I, uh, I made a couple antennas, so I'm going to take those out to my yard, set them up, and uh, check them on my uh, uh, vector network an analyzer, I think it's called. So I'm going to do that. i got some yard work i got to do. i got to get the pool ready to be closed, and that's about it. Maybe have a little uh, food on the grill this weekend. But, yeah, I'm off uh, from now until Tuesday, so... Nice, uh, nice relaxing weekend. KC9, CFL, back to net control. Okay, uh, Mike, sounds good. Well, uh, have a uh, safe and sane Labor Day weekend. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you for checking the Friday Night Fun Net. Are there any more stations you want to check the Friday Night Fun Net this time? You're coming home from the... Uh, you're coming home from your uh, Friday Night Fish Fries, Steak Fries, Grocery Shopping, your... Getting ready for that big Labor Day picnic this coming a weekend, the coming Monday, for the show. You're coming home from the, uh, uh, let's see, if you just uh, uh, came home and turned the radio on, you've been copying the mail for the last uh, 42, 43 minutes. This is your chance to check in the Friday night fun that we'll be anywhere in the region. What's not traffic, please call K-9 GCR. 89 EPZ. Okay, stand by. We've got two stations checking in at the same time. Station with the no traffic, come back with your call, please. Okay, KC9YI, Scott Monroe, Wisconsin, checking in on Simplex. Beautiful signal tonight. Uh, Scott, I'll get back to you in a minute there. If, uh, any other stations you want to check in the Friday Night Fund at this time, please go now. Eighty-nine EPZ. All right, K-9 EPZ. Okay, Al, I've got you checked in. Uh, I'll get back to you a couple minutes. Any more stations you want to check in? Please call now. Okay, uh, Scott, K-9YI and Monroe, what's going on with you? What are you going to be doing this weekend? I know you're not going to have a uh, you're not going to have an Aries net this coming Sunday night. So what's going on with you? There is nothing wrong with that. Nothing like spending Friday night at home. You ain't a kid. That's a that's for sure. Oh, okay. So that that'll be more. Uh, you okay? You got. What about the Monday? You gonna be doing anything Monday, Labor Day? Okay, uh, Scott, sounds good. 7 3. Have a good evening. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you next uh, Friday night since there will be no uh, uh, Aries net this coming Sunday night. So, uh, K9 G Shard. Uh, thank you for checking in, Scott. That was K9 YI, Scott, the, uh, in Monroe, Wisconsin, net control of the uh, Green County Aries Races net, which is held on Sunday evenings at 7 30 p.m. in the 145.110 repair in Monroe with the 
PL1, 23.0 minus offset. However, this Sunday there will be no net because of the, the Labor Day weekend. Uh, that's usually the case with the, the Memorial Day and the Labor Day. And uh, I think the 4th of July was the same way that too. There was a Sunday before the holiday, there is no nets. Okay. Uh, okay, Al, KD9 EPZ. Now, I know I, I'm not going to ask you what you're going to be doing on this holiday weekend because I know you'll be staying home. But what else is going on with you? Well, today I am celebrating the 42nd anniversary of my 29th birthday. And my home care person went and fired up the grill and made me, made me a, a, a uh, um, ribeye steak and um, bacon-wrapped asparagus and roast, roasted potatoes and onions. So I had a really good, really good... Uh, meal, and uh, um, I'm not going anywhere, but she's taking the holiday off, so I won't have anybody back here till Wednesday now. I'll be by myself till Wednesday. Okay, sounds, that sounds good. Uh, well, that, that's good that she did that. I bet you that steak uh, tasted good, didn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was a really, really good meal. She's a good cook, and uh, I had um, saved up some money, so anticipating this, so I could, so she ran over up to the store and picked up all the stuff she needed to make it. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Al, I know you had some traffic. Would you like to mention about the, uh, you lost a fellow ham radio operator down in your neck of the woods? What was that, Kim? I was going to say, you had a silent key in your area. You had one uh, uh, ham pass away a couple of days ago. I, actually, it was uh, last Saturday, and um, I believe it was. Now I'm trying to remember, but it was uh, Ray Albert. Um, uh, oh, I think KB9SWL. Became a silent key. Now, now we, we, one by one, you know, I'm not, I'm not getting any younger either. So it happens. Fortunately, we, we still keep having every time, every time that some I hear of a silent key, I hear about some new a new hand that just got their license. So you know, for, for every time we lose one, at least we gain one. I hopefully. Now that's uh, that's good. That's good. Uh, we got a new ham in uh, Winnebago County. His name is Jim, and I'm trying to uh, let's see. I'm, I'm trying to find his uh, call uh, there. I got oh boy, that's the heck with. He got all these different papers. Uh, uh, I believe case. I believe that uh, uh, K D nine T uh, Y L or whatever. Hopefully you'll be checking in there soon, but uh, I'm sorry, uh, sorry to hear about the silent key. And uh, was he a long time? He was a long time ham, uh, apparently, wasn't he? Yes, he was, and he was uh, quite active with the um, group, with the group in Sterling and the group in um, um, Dixon. <laughs> Okay, sounds good. Okay, sounds good. Okay, folks, uh, uh, for those of you who are not, uh, who are new to the Friday Night Fun Net, whenever ham radio operator pass, in the area passes away, we usually do a one minute all keys down moment of silence. This uh, originated with the, the old uh, Monday Night Rockford uh, 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 two meter net with Diana White and M9I when she used to uh, run the net. She would do the same thing. So. We are now going to observe a one-minute all keys down moment of silence in honor of uh, Ray Albert, uh, KB9SWL.
This is Case 19 Sound the Friday Night Funded on the K9 on the uh, K9 RMD uh, repeater in uh, Rockford. We just did a one minute all keys down moment of silence in honor of Ray Albert KB9 SWL. At this time, we're going to do a last call in his honor. KB9 SWL. KB9 SWL. Case on GCR. KB9 SWL. KB9 SWL. Case on GCR. No signal. Seven threes. Uh, Ray, I never talked to you. I didn't know you, but uh, thank you for your service to the uh, this wonderful army of the ham radio community, and uh, thanks for all you did. Uh, may you rest in peace. Okay, uh, this is uh, case nine GCR. All right, Al, do you have anything else you'd like to add? No, not really. Like I say, I, I'm still looking for some some guys to get together and um, straighten out my antennas over here. And um, someone's got got some free time. Uh, I haven't had HF capability in over a year. And um, um, the mobile home park, I mean, just got sold to a new owner. And right, I've got right now, I've got a bunch of wires just hanging down all over the place. And I'm a bit concerned that uh, if he sees it, I may I may end up off the air completely. That's the case. You better see you better see about hiring a good attorney. So okay, sounds good. Yeah, okay. Al with the KB9 EPZ is looking for somebody. K9 EPZ, I should say, is looking for people, a good few, a few good men like you to say in the Marine Corps. Volunteers to go down to his place and help him get his uh, stuff back to where it used to be before the August 10th duration of last year. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, if your wife has any, uh, uh, her ex, YL has any honey do list for you to do, you just say, Well, honey, I got something else to do. I gotta help a ham radio friend get back on the air with the tennis situation. So there you go. Anybody? Willing to volunteer, get a hold of Al, K9 and EPZ. He's usually monitoring this repeater or on 147165. Let's get him uh, back on the air well, as far as HF uh, goes. Any volunteers willing to uh, step forward? Okay, well, let's hope uh, anybody, let's hope you get uh, the, the, the back on here as far as HF goes there, uh, Al. And, uh, okay, thank you for uh, checking in. I'm sure we'll hear from you in a few minutes during the trivia segment. Any more stations want to check in the Friday Night Fun Net? Please go now. Okay, oh, wait. Now this is a joke, uh, this is not exactly a radio nut joke, but this is from uh, Rick, K9 the QDP. Why did the capacitor go out with the dial? He couldn't resist her. <laughs> Thanks Rick for that joke. I'm going to write that down in my Friday Night Fun that uh, radio nut joke book. Uh, thank you very much for doing that. Any more stations want to check in, please go now. I gotta find a piece of scratch paper here. But, uh, okay, Rick, we'll be right, uh, we'll be right with you. Okay. I found it. I found it. Okay, Rick, go ahead. Uh, apparently, they closed the border to the country of Finland. The border is now closed. So at this point, nobody is allowed to cl cross the finish line. Hi, hi.
Okay. Uh, uh, Rick, uh, uh, repeat that again, uh, again please. Uh, so they close the uh, country, the Finland, the, the border, and repeat the rest of that, please. They closed the border to Finland, so at this point, nobody is allowed to cross the finish line. Okay, uh, sorry about the pause uh, 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 there, so uh, I'm just trying, trying to write this down there. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you very much there, uh, uh, Rick. We sure, sure uh, appreciate this. <laughs> I was born on Labor Day, but so was everybody else. 
Uh, my mother can vouch for that one. Okay, uh, for those of you, uh, uh, those of you, uh, a younger audience there, uh, there was a comedian and great entertainer named uh, uh, Jack Benny. He was popular on during the, the old radio days, and he had his own TV show way back in the in the 50s. He also t uh, used to tease everybody. He said, uh, "I'm celebrating my uh, 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 every year." He was 39. I always uh, this is my 20th uh, the anniversary of my 39th birthday. I don't know how that ever originated, but that's what that's the way it was. Jack Benny, he was a great uh, violin player. Although I don't know if he ever seriously played the violin or not, but uh, he mostly used it like a horse. Well, he did play. I saw one of his episodes on TV recently, and uh, they showed him playing uh, with the Tennessee Ernie Ford. They were both uh, playing their uh, violin, so that was uh, that was about it there. The late, great uh, uh, Jack Benny, one of our fine uh, entertainers from uh, years gone by. Okay, any more stations that we're not checking the Friday night fund yet? Please go now. 10-9 RPN back here. 10-9 RPN, good evening, uh, Mel. What is uh, going on with you? And I'm not going to ask you what you're going to be doing this weekend because I know what you're going to be doing. But let's hope you get home soon. What's uh, app else is going on with you? Well... When I went to check in a while ago, they were in here trying to put me to bed. They got that done. And I've got a little bad news today. Uh, when W9 MSL had an accident, he fell down and hit his face solid on cement. And he's in he's, uh, pretty bad shape. Oh, God, no. Oh boy, that's that is definitely not not good news at all. We're gonna we're gonna pray for a win at N9 uh, RPN. He was a uh, he's our vice president of our club, and that's all. Uh, that's I'm uh, sorry to hear that, Mel. I really am. I guess he's home. They wanted to put him in a nursing home, but they couldn't find a place to put him, so. He is home, but he's, uh, he's got his wire, his, his jaw wired together, I hear, and, and uh, hope his jaw, uh, just, he must have really, really hit that smack, smack, his smack's head on, you know, and, uh, well, when you fall, you know what happens, you try to catch yourself, and it don't happen, but, uh, but I guess he's home, but he can't talk, he, 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 he really, I was told his his face looks like somebody just really beat him up. Oh God! Everybody, uh, say prayers for uh, Wind Turber, W9 MSL. Vice, he's our vice president of the Steve Scott Repair Association. Was about this terrible accident he had. So uh, let's uh, hope he gets well and he's able to uh, talk yet soon. He was an occasional check-in on uh, this net. So uh, we'll uh, everybody keep your uh, thoughts and prayers. Mel, uh, thank you very much for that uh, information. I was sorry to, uh, to hear that, but thank you anyway. Yeah, I definitely wanted to get that information out there because of, I'm sure everybody wanted to know about it. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Mel. So, uh... Other than that, what else, what else is uh, happening with you, or is that pretty much uh, it? Well, I'm still in the Wesley Willows here, trying to get my legs working again. It, it seemed to be, they got me walking up and down the hall on a, on a walker now, so I, I, I'm getting feeling back in them, and, and I think my back's going to turn out okay. Uh, I have no pain except when they do therapy and then they get it all tired out in that. Other than that, I, uh, the pain's all gone in it. But I, I still got a lot of work to do to get them legs to work again. 
I hear you, Mel. Well, we're going to be praying for you, too. Okay, everybody, get those cards and letters in the mail to Mel Welch, N-I-N-R-P-N, here at Wesley Willows, 1440, uh, no, 4141 North Rockton Avenue, room at 15D or 15 Delta, Rockford, Illinois, 61103. I repeat, please get those cards and letters to Mel Welch, N-I-N-R-P-N, care of Wesley Willows, 4141 North Rockton Avenue, room 15D, 15 Delta, Rockford, Illinois, 61103. Mel, thank you for checking the Friday Night Fun Net. We're sure sorry to hear about the, the news concerning uh, uh, Wynn, the uh, W9MSL, but let's hope he makes a speedy recovery and he can get back to talking again. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, any more stations want to check in the Friday Night Fun Net, please go on out. Let me get my papers organized here. Then we're going to go up. Uh, good green. Okay, we're going to do the, uh, the Friday Night Fun Net Trivia. Uh, this is really for the benefit of those who are studying for their first ham radio license or technician license. We have a lot of people who listen to us on the scanners because they can't listen to police communication anymore unless you have a, uh, a uh, very expensive digital scanner. I think in Wisconsin, I think they still use the VHF I-band for police communications. And uh, people are listening to us because they, they, they enjoy listening just for the pleasure of us because our other people are listening who are studying for their first ham radio license. I'm going to read the uh, multiple choice questions from ARRL's Tech, General, and Extra Q&A books. We're going to uh, uh, start the uh, proceedings here with the uh, technicians. All right, some of these, uh, okay, here's the first question. First question, from which of the following locations may an FCC license to amp radio station transmit? A, from within any country that belongs to the International Telecommunications Union. B, from within any country that is a member of the United Nations. C, from anywhere within the International Telecommunications Union, the ITU regions 2 and 3. D, from any vessel or craft located in international waters and documented or registered in the United States. From which of the following locations may an, a an FCC license uh, amateur station transmit? A. From within any country that belongs to the International Telecommunications Union. B. From within any country that is a member of the United Nations. C. From anywhere within International Telecommunications Union, ITU regions 2 and 3. D, from any vessel or craft located in international waters and documented or registered in the United States. Anybody have the correct answer to this question? Okay, from which of the following locations may an FCC license to after station transmit? A, from within any country that belongs to the International Telecommunications Union. B, from within any country that is a member of the United Nations. C, from anywhere within the International Telecommunications Union or ITU regions 2 and 3. D, from any vessel or craft located in international waters and documented or registered in the United States. Anybody have correct answer to this question? Okay, from which of the following locations may an FCC license after station transmit? The correct answer is D Delta from any vessel or craft located in international waters and documented or 
registered in the United States. We'll move on. We'll move on to another question. Uh, oh, I read that before. I'm not reading that again. Okay. I'm trying to be careful so I don't read the same questions all the, all the time there, so. Okay. Uh, what property of radio waves is often used to identify the different uh, frequency bands? A. The approximate wavelength. B. The magnetic intensity of waves. C. The time it takes for waves to wave to travel one mile. E. The voltage standing wave ratio of waves. What property of radio waves is often used to identify the different frequency bands? A. The approximate wavelength. B. The magnetic intensity of waves. C. The time it takes for the waves to travel one mile. D. The voltage standing wave ratio, ratio of waves. Anybody have to answer this question? Okay, Jim, Go ahead, Larry. Let's try A. You are correct, Larry. You are correct. What property of radio waves is often used to identify the different uh, frequency bands? Correct answer is A alpha, the approximate wavelength. All right, we'll find, find another one here. Ah, I read that. I'm not reading that again. All right. Wow. Oh. I'm trying to avoid the... I don't want to be repetitious here. That's why I'm just... I'm trying not to read, okay. Sorry about, sorry about this, folks. <laughs> I'll find some here. Oh, God. Okay, which of the following battery types is rechargeable? A, nickel uh, metal hydride. B, lithium ion. C, lead acid gel cell. D, all of these choices are correct. Which of the following battery types is, is rechargeable? A, nickel metal hydride. B, lithium ion. C, lead acid, uh, or lead acid gel cell. D, all of these choices are correct. Anybody correct to answer this question? D, Delta, WX9, RLT. You are correct, Ricky. You are correct. Which of the following battery types is rechargeable? A, nickel metal hydride, B, lithium ion, C, lead acid gel cell, the correct answer is D, delta. All of these choices are correct. Ham radio ice manual, page 5-17. Okay, let's find another one. Oh, I read that question last week, or two weeks ago. I'm not reading it again. Okay. Uh, what happens to power lost in a feed line? A. It increases the SWR. B. It comes back into your transmitter and could cause damage. C. It is converted into heat. D. It can cause distortion of your signal. What happens to power lost in a feed line? A. It increases the SWR. B. It comes back into your transfer and could and cause damage. C. It is converted into heat. D. E, it can cause distortion of your signal. Anybody correct to answer this question? Go ahead, Al. C. Charlie has dissipated his heat. You are correct, Al, you are correct. What happens to power loss in the feed line? Correct answer is C, Charlie. It is converted into heat. Power loss in the feed line is converted into and dissipated as heat. Amory device is manual page 4-9. Uh, find another one here. I don't know how many of you work satellites, but we're, we're going to skip those questions. I'm assuming that... Uh, okay. I, read, I already read that one. Let's see. No. Okay. What is a grid locator? A. A letter number designator assigned to a geographic location. B. 
B, a letter number designator assigned to an azimuth uh, and elevation. C, an instrument for neutralizing a final amplifier. D, an instrument for radio direction finding. What is a grid locator? A, a letter number designator assigned to a geographic location. B, a letter number designator assigned to an azimuth and elevation. D, an instrument for neutralizing a final amplifier. D, an instrument for a radio direction finding. Anybody correct to answer this question? A, Alpha, WX9, RLD. You are correct, Ricky, you are correct. What is a grid locator? Correct answer is A, Alpha. A letter number designator assigned to a geographic location. The Maidenhead uh, locator system is named for the town outside London, England, where the method was first created. In this system, the Earth's surface is divided into a system of rectangles based on latitude and longitude, known as grid locators or grid squares. Each grid square is identified with a combination of letters and numbers. And read a license manual, page uh, 6 8. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. I don't know if anybody's familiar with this or not, but what is an ARQ transmission system? A. A special transmission format limited to video signals. B. A system used to encrypt the command signals to an amateur radio satellite. C. A digital scheme whereby the receiving station detects errors and sends a request to the sending uh, station to retransmit the, the information. D. A method of compressing the data in a message so more information can be sent to in a shorter uh, uh, time. What is an ARQ transmission system? A, a special transmission format uh, limited to vid uh, video signals. B, a system used to encrypt command signals to an amateur radio satellite. C, a digital scheme whereby the receiving station detects errors and sends a request to the sending station to retransmit the information. Uh, D, a method of uh, compressing the data in a message so more information can be sent in a short time. Does anybody have correct answer to this question? Now, well, since nobody's jumping in there, I'll shoot for... Let's go see Charlie, WX9 RLD. Well, Ricky, you are correct. You are correct. What is an ARQ transmission uh, system? Correct answer is C, Charlie. A digital scheme whereby the receiving station detects errors and sends a request to the sending station to retransmit the, the information. I, I don't know how many people you would use that satellite stuff, but that's, uh, okay, we'll find, we'll find another one here. Okay, just a minute. All right, we're, we're finding another one here. Okay, all right. What are the toughest questions in the tech, general, and extra Q&A? Your tower questions, of course. You new listeners, those of you who will be soon be getting your ham radio license. Uh, someday you're going to be involved in a t t with a tower climbing crew. You're actually going to be climbing the tower, or you're going to be part of a ground support crew. This question might put you over the top. As far as getting when you to take your the test, this question might put you over the top for you, as far as getting your technician license goes. Here we go. Those of you who climb towers, you know the answer to this one by heart. What? is considered to be a proper grounding method for a tower. A, a single four-foot ground rod driven into the ground no more than 12 inches from the base. 
B, a paracore arm choke connected between the, the tower and ground. C, separate eight foot long ground rods for each tower leg bonded to the tower and each other. D, a connection between the tower base and a cold water pipe. What is considered to be a proper grounding method for a tower? A, a single four foot ground rod driven into the ground no more than 12 inches from the base. B, a bare core RF choke connected between the tower and ground. C, separate eight foot long ground rods for each tower leg bonded to the tower and each other. D, a connection between the tower base and a cold water pipe. Anybody have correct to answer this question? AC9JZ. AC9JZ, good evening, Mike. Well, what do you say? I will. These tower questions never put me over the top. I was on the reverse, so I'm not sure what Mike said, but I'm going to shoot for B Bravo WX9 RLT. <laughs> well, Mike said A, you said the B. Sorry, uh, uh, Ricky, that's not uh, correct. Hey, thank you for trying. That That's great. Anybody else want to give it a shot? 89 MAP says C Charlie. You are correct, Terry. You are correct. What is considered to be a proper grounding method for a tower? Correct answer is C, Charlie. Separate eight-foot long ground rods for each tower leg bonded to the tower and each other. Grounding rules for antennas and supports must be followed according to your local electrical code. Towers should be uh, grounded uh, with separate eight-foot uh, long ground rods for each tower leg bonded to the tower and each other. Admiral Delights Emanuel, page 9-18. Let me check in my AC9JZ. Uh, uh, Justin, uh, K9FBO, checked in earlier, uh, Mike. Uh, what's going on with you, and what are you going to be doing for Labor Day? That's the topic tonight. I'm just going to be uh, building, a, finishing a build-out in my basement. Can you hear me, Jimmy? Yes, I hear you do repeat loud and clear. That's a lot better. All right. I'm just going to be uh, finishing. I'm building out uh, the basement room that I'm building uh, with a bar and all this stuff. And uh, that's all I'm doing this weekend. Uh, uh, that or I'm going to build an app for my job. <laughs> I want a full map. Uh, but anyway, a lot of people would understand that. Justin would understand that. I want to ask him if he wants to help me with that. But anyway, uh, 73 is to you, and thank you for all you do. And I'm sorry I don't check in all the time, but I sure appreciate you. Thank you so much. And uh, 73 to everybody. AC9 Jay-Z. You're uh, welcome, uh, Mike. Hey, check in whenever you uh, can. Don't uh, don't worry about it. You're checked in. That's the important thing. And I think Justin must have checked, checked in short time. Now. I tried to get back in for the round table, but he did. But he, he did not answer. But he did check in. So he's checking number 15, and you're checking number uh, 25. So have a good uh, Labor Day weekend, uh, Mike. We'll talk to you down the hall. Thank you for checking in. Oh, God bless you. And, and, and the net. Eighteen nine three. Thank you for checking, Mike. Okay. Any more stations wish to check in the Friday night fund at this time? Please call now.
Okay, now we're going to go to the uh, general. So, okay. And uh, uh, some, of these, uh, some of these questions belong to the technicians portion, so I'm not going to worry. I'm going to skip that one, portion. So, uh, well, I read this question. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. What control is typically adjusted for proper ALC setting on an aperture single sideband transceiver? A, the RF clipping level. B, transmit audio or microphone gain. C, antenna inductance or capacitance. D, attenuator level. What control is typically adjusted for proper ALC setting on an amateur single sideband transceiver? A. The RF clipping level. B. Transmit audio or microphone gain. C. Antenna inductance or capacitance. C. Inten uh, D. Attenuator load. Anybody correct to answer this question? I'm going to guess A, Jimmy, KD9HWK. KD9HWK. Uh, oh, boy, KD9HWK. Uh, sorry, that is not, uh, that's not correct. I'll get back to you in a minute there. Uh, anybody else want to give it a shot? KD9HWK, Charlie, 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 I'm going to guess B, Bravo, Jimmy. I'm, I know it's not C, so let's go B. Okay, we will go B, and you are correct. What control is typically uh, adjusted for proper ALC setting on an amateur single sideband transceiver? Correct answer is B, Bravo, transmit audio or microphone gain. The automatic level control or ALC circuit in a transceiver reduces microphone gain when it detects excessive power levels at the input to the RF power amplifier stages. For proper adjustment on most transmitters, the microphone gain control should be adjusted so that there is a slight movement of the ALC meter or on modulation piece. General Class License Manual, page 5-11. Uh, All right, okay, uh, a lot of station trying to check in who uh, just checked in. Come on back. KD9HWK. Good evening, Jimmy, and everybody on the net. KD9HWK in the Mountain of Sycamore. Okay, uh, I'm asking a question tonight. What are, you, what are your plans for a Labor Day weekend? You got guys anything going, or you're just going to do no, uh, sit around doing nothing? Uh, tomorrow morning, we're going to split some firewood and. Family's gonna come over, do a little grilling, probably watch some college football. Uh, Sunday we're gonna go help my wife's mom do some stuff, and hopefully Monday nothing. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Uh, uh, this weekend's gonna be a, just the same old, same old regular weekend. Not gonna do anything. Listen to some, watch some baseball games, and that, and that's it. Monday, is, it's just going to be a no regular, normal Monday. So that, that's, that's the way it goes. Okay, uh, K9HWK, thank you for uh, checking in the net. And when, I don't know if you're going to be net control this coming Monday night or not on the Kishwaukee net, but uh, I thank you for mentioning the uh, me and the, the Friday Night Fun net on, on your net. Uh, no problem, Jimmy. It's uh, I won't be this coming week, but uh, the week after I will be. So I try to give you guys as much uh, publicity as possible. It's good to hear a net like this. I uh, enjoy it. KD9HWK. Okay, sounds good, Matt. Seven three. Happy Labor Day to you and your family. Talk to you again. Uh, Mike H N H I J Z. Did uh, uh, come back? Go ahead. I have a, a friend here. Uh, yeah, you. 14, 14 years old, uh, that would like to say hi to you, uh, third party traffic, uh, if you don't mind, his name is Miles, that's M-I-L-E-S, 
of a mobile antenna and electrically lengthens it so that it can be used effectively at lower frequencies. Ham radio lights and manual page 7 6. Alright. Okay. Alright. This is the last question of the on the general. What determines the performance of a ferret core at different frequencies? A. It's conductivity. B. It's thickness. C. The composition or mix of materials used. D. The ratio of outer diameter to inner diameter. What determines the performance of a ferret core at different uh, frequencies? A. It's con conductivity. B. It's thickness. C. The composition or mix of uh, materials used. D. The ratio of outer the diameter to inner diameter. Anybody have correct answer to this question? KD9MAP is going to give C. Charlie. You are correct, uh, Carrie. You are correct. What determines the performance of a fair core at different frequencies? Correct answer is C. Charlie. The composition or mix of materials used. Toroids may be wound on the ferret or powdered iron cores. Ferret is a ceramic uh, containing iron compounds. These cores make it possible to obtain large uh, values of in in inductance in a relatively small package compared to using an air core. The combination of materials are mixed, used to uh, make the core selected so the inductor performs best over a specific range of frequencies. General Class Ice and Manual, page 4-12. This concludes the technical, the uh, technician, oh, I can't even talk. This concludes the general portion of the uh, trivia thing, but uh, we're going to do some uh, extra class questions, but before we do, we have any more stations we want to check in the Friday Night Fun Net. Please call now. This is NGCR. This is the Alpha Kilo 9 Foxtrot, David, Mobile and Beloit tonight, no traffic. Up, uh, good evening, day. Uh, we're talking about Labor Day. What do you got planned? Are you, are you, do you have any plans for the holiday, or are you just going to sit around? Uh, I'll probably do what I usually do on Labor Day, and that is go over to the Bristol Renaissance Fair. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Hey, drive safely. Thank you for checking the Friday night budget. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy your weekend. Okay, any more stations want to check in? Please go now. KC9 GCR, K9 FLO. K9 FLO. Good evening, uh, um, Dean and uh, Roscoe. What's uh, going on with you? Hi, Jimmy, and good evening uh, to Dave. I heard him out there up here in Mobile, Mobileen. Uh, not much. Just got down here, got the radio turned on. I figured you'd be on, so I'm never late for the, the net, I guess. How about that? Uh, otherwise, I uh, guess we're going to have a little rainy weekend, but we can certainly use that. Yeah, KC9GCR, K9FLO. Yeah, yeah, you're you're never late. You've never been late in checking the Friday night fun that before. Yeah, but doing doing fine, and uh, yeah, we did need the, the rain. So, but uh, I was saying, this is Labor Day weekend. Although I'm, I wish it were Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> uh, speed of Labor Day. That's what I'm asking everybody. What are you going to be doing for this weekend? You just going to you got stuff planned? You just going to sit around the house? Um, nothing planned at all. Uh, I haven't done anything in quite a while on Labor Day. Uh, unlike the days when you were looking forward to this three-day weekend, now every day is the same. So I guess uh, maybe mow the yard or something like that. That would be my big excitement. But uh, otherwise, no, nothing, uh, nothing planned at all. It should be uh, hopefully nice and quiet and uh, and uh, talk on the radio instead there. How's that sound? 
That sounds good. That sounds good. You know, uh, when I check in the Rock County on Tuesday nights, I every once in a while I mention like the health and tech net on the on this uh, repeater is there on Tuesdays and Thursdays at seven uh, uh, p.m. And after they get done, Larry K9 KZT has a, a CW practice. I'm just kind of curious. Do you ever tune in and listen to the the, the cold practice? No, I no. Uh, I forgot about that even being on, but uh, uh, I just tuned down to the lower end of 40, and that's enough there. Uh, otherwise, I'm lazy now. Instead of doing it that way, I knew that used the new FT8, and that way you don't have, you have to do a whole lot of activity there. Uh, uh, Jim, go ahead. Yeah, I understand. I understand. I understand. Well, I tell you, it's very, it's very interesting. Uh, uh, Larry was uh, said to, it was interesting doing the, the song up, uh, uh, Jambalaya. It was made popular by Joe Stafford, but it was uh, originally first recorded by uh, Hank Williams. Uh, you know, Jambalaya, Crawfish Pie, Billy Gumbo, and I'm going to meet my chair meal. He was sending the, he was sending the uh, words uh, to that song in uh, in CW and Morse Code. I almost missed the button there. Uh, well, I'll be darned. Yeah, very good. Well, that's a good thing. I'm glad uh, somebody's doing that. You know, we used to go for years and not any, anybody would uh, even offer uh, practicing and, and just to get uh, other people interested into it. Um, I'm trying to think. There was something else I was going to mention to you, and I can't think of that now. I'm having a momentary uh, loss there. There must be a uh, senior moment there, uh, Jimmy. Go ahead. Well, I'm sure you'll c come up with it there. Well, the <coughs> well, excuse me. I was going to say something too, but uh, I'll, oh yeah, I know what's going to do. I, I think it was sometime last year or whatever. I, uh, as part of the, the trivia segment, I did something different. I, I got everything, uh, the, uh, uh, Morris, uh, cold. Let me get it, let me get it out here. Okay, I got it in, uh, like, uh, A, uh, uh, dip dot, B, dot, dip, dip, dip. I did a special tri trivia segment. I asked everybody, I, was, I did that, and everybody knew what it was. And uh, as a result uh, uh, of the Friday Night Fun that uh, uh, Larry K9 at KZT uh, brought, uh, uh, decided to have a, a CW practice. It's, uh, it's at the end of the corresponding nets. We'll be found in the nets on the Monday, Tuesdays, and the Thursday nights. You know, thinking of that, uh, that brings back memories. When I learned to code, I did it from, I had a record, literally an uh, LP type record, vinyl, I think they call it now, and uh, that was made by Amico, and Amico and, and, uh, used to make a code oscillator, in fact, that's the only thing I can think of, anything they ever made, but uh, you'd get the uh, Amico code oscillator, and uh, then their Miko record, and so you play the record, and uh, gosh, I think that that was an LP, 33 RPM, so what was that, half an hour on each side, and I think that record eventually got you, uh, uh, it was a pretty good record, if I remember right, um, but it gets you up to, uh, oh, I don't know. I want to say maybe 13 words a minute, but uh, they got you. I worked for a lot. A lot of people got their uh, passed their code using that old Miko uh, record there. Uh, Jimmy, do you remember those? Were you involved in that? Uh, uh, there, uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, this case on GCR after Friday night fun that on the uh, K9RMD repaired round for transferring for Friday night fun that Chuck and Freeport. No, I do not. I've been in this hobby since uh, 2004, so I, I wouldn't remember that. 
Okay, I'm trying to remember if I, I don't think I have that record anymore. I think I gave it to somebody to use it for the same purpose, but you didn't have anything on, uh, uh, no, uh, you didn't, uh, you know, out there you could listen to other the uh, active guys, but I think, uh, uh, AWRL, I think even uh, back uh, uh, there a number of years ago, they had the uh, online uh, code practice there in uh, W1AW, and I think that that was around even for, forever, it seems like. And, you know, I had a guy that worked for me, and he used to sit there, and uh, he, uh, he was been a long time ham, and he used to uh, sit there at his desk, and he would pound out with his pencil. He could do, uh, he said he could do uh, 50 words a minute, which is faster than I can talk there. Uh, Jim, Casey and I, GCR, K9FLO. That's great. That is definitely great there, Dean. Uh, Let's see, uh, Terry, K9MAP, has a, a, a CW net on uh, the Wednesday evenings at, at 8 p.m. It's on uh, uh, 7.117 megahertz, uh, kilohertz, I should say, in the 40-meter band. If you're, if you're interested, if you try, try to tune in, uh, uh, get, your, get your HF rig going, and, and you can listen, tune in and listen to that net. Uh, just might stop by and doing that. Otherwise, just uh, do it the old way. All right, Jim. Hey, very good. Uh, sounded good up here. Repeater sounded good. And uh, I noticed you're using this repeater all the time. Is the 6-1 still uh, kind of noisy to you? Uh, go ahead. Well, I didn't even try 6-1 tonight, but I decided was it raining and stuff. And then I, I thought I thought I'm gonna run the net here because with the that's a the problem with that repeat it's 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 the feed they think it's the feed line, but every once in a while with the weather conditions it's raining and stuff that the signal is very is very noisy on the conditions are very noisy on that repeat so I decided to hold the the net here on this repeat tonight. Oh okay very good. Where's this uh, repeater at? Is it in Rockford or somewhere closer to you? It's it's on the north end, the north side of Rockford. I think I think it's on the North Main Street. It's at the River Bluff uh, uh, Nursing Home. Is it that that tower on which the antenna is located is, it belongs to Winnebago County Sheriff's Department? So that and they got the uh, they got the uh, their repeater. As long as they got the they got the uh, one uh, one nine five and I think the uh, four forty uh, machine uh, also uh, uh, is in there, but that's where the repair is located at the River Bluff Nursing Home. Okay, I know exactly where that's at. Oh, very good, good location there. Yeah, it comes up to me uh, very good, no problems at all. Yeah, uh, no exactly been there at that uh, site so. How about that? Um, anyway, all right uh, there, Jim. Uh, thought I'd jump in there and say happy Friday, and uh, catch you later. Uh, KC9GCR, K9FLO. KD9MAP. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Jim, I'm going to call I just wanted to say hi to Dean. I worked you on uh, FT8 about a month ago. I, I don't know if you recognize my call sign or not. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm another guy who really likes FT8. KD9MAP, over. I do remember because I caught a very unusual uh, call sign popping up. Most of the time you don't see a local pop up there. Uh, very good. Yeah, that was. Got, that was a surprise. Go ahead. I was glad to see you there. Very good. Glad to. Uh, it's fun. Really getting a kick out of it. A little different than everything else, and uh, it's just, it just a real, very interesting. All right, Jamie, sorry to jump back in there. Can't handle flow. No, 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 no. This is fine. We are not a form on that. This is great. This is what's great about this net. Uh, I think this is why it's so popular, isn't it? Because you got people, we do anything, anything from uh, rag chewing, uh, 
a trivia segment, swap net, or tech net, or you name it, that's a round table, you bet. That, that's, a, that's great. Dean, happy Labor Day, you and your family. We'll talk to you next uh, Friday night. Hopefully we'll try to catch you on the Rock County then this coming Tuesday. Case 9 GCR, thank you for checking in. All right, Jim, take care of seven threes. Talk at you later, and we'll look for you there next Tuesday. And otherwise, FT8. Sounds it, yeah. Uh, catch that, the uh, uh, carry on FT8. I don't have that capability. Okay, sounds it. Thanks, Dean. Any more stations want to check the Friday Night Fun Net? Please call now. Okay, now we're going to do some uh, 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 extra class questions. All right. Let's uh, just a minute here. Okay, those of you who work on Slow Scan TV should know the answer to this one by heart. How is color information sent in analog SSTV? A. Color lines are sent sequentially. B. Color information is sent on a 2.8 kilohertz subcarrier. C. Color is sent as in a color burst at the end of each line. D. Color is amp is uh, amplitude modulated on the uh, frequency modulated intensity signal. How is color information sent in analog SSTV? A. Color lines are sent. Sequentially, B, color information is sent on a 2.8 uh, kilohertz subcarrier. C, color is sent in the color burst at the end of each line. D, color is amplitude modulated on the frequency modulated intensity signal. Anybody correct to answer this question? Okay, I guess we don't have anybody who works uh, slow scan TV. I'm just going to go ahead and read the question and the answer. How is color information sent in the analog SSTV? Correct answer is A alpha. Color lines are sent sequentially. Okay. Uh, I think we'll skip the uh, fast scan TV question since uh, we'll just we'll just move on to another one here. All right. Which of the following signal paths is most likely to experience high levels of absorption when the A index or K index is elevated? A. Transequatorial. B. Polar. C. Sporadic. E. D. NVIS. Which of the following signal paths is most likely to experience high levels of absorption when the A index or K index is elevated? A. Transequatorial. B, polar, C, sporadic E, D, NVIS. Anybody correct to answer this question? Okay, which of the following signal paths is more, most likely to experience High levels of absorption when the A index are
Okay. What orientation of BZ to B sub B increases the likelihood that uh, incoming particles from the sun will, will cause to disturb the conditions? Correct answer is southward. Uh, well, all right. I want to thank everybody for participating in Friday Night Fun Dead Trivia. We'll do it again next Friday night. Uh, any more stations want to check in? The, uh, please call now. KC9 GCR and NNQD, copy. NINQD, KC9GCR, copy you, Arthur. Uh, what's uh, your check in 29? What's uh, going on with you? Oh, just making a little fish, you know, it's Friday night. Yeah, I made them little round little scallops, yeah, for tonight. Sauteed them in butter, baked potato, a little asparagus. You know how it goes. That sounds good, Arthur, that sounds good. Uh, what are you doing Labor Day weekend? That's the question we're having uh, tonight. Well, you got any plans or are you just going to sit around and do nothing? <laughs> I don't think anybody just sits around and does nothing. You know, you got Memorial Day. Well, I remember a Memorial Day from the past. But Labor Day, that's just what it is. You got to labor around the house because you got to get ready for winter. You know, <laughs> cut the grass, uh, edge and trim so when you get the snow thrower out, you don't uh, get that sucker all jammed up in the... Throwing grass when you're trying to throw snow. <laughs> I hear you, Art. I hear you. Yeah, as I, I was saying a couple times during the day, I wish I wish this was uh, Memorial Day weekend instead of Labor Day weekend. I hear you, Art. Yeah, I wish the same. But you know, we've got really good weather. Uh, you know, 70s and low overnights, and uh, I'm kind of liking this. I mean, I like warm weather, but oh, when it gets too hot and humid, it, it it's really hard. So, yeah. With that, I'll say 73s. I know you're getting ready to get out of here. Have a good night, good evening, and we will catch you next Friday. Okay, sounds good. Our thank you for taking that. Last week we didn't get done until 20 minutes to 11 last uh, Friday night, so. Uh, we got a ways to go yet in this net there, so that, that sounds good. Okay, Art, thank you for checking in. Uh, so three, have a good evening. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, how many uh, people checked in? What's my number? Your check-in uh, number 29. Uh, sure, not a bad turnout, not a bad turnout. More I'm sure to follow in the, the coming weeks as it gets colder. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. Okay, Art. Thank you for checking in. Have a good evening, and uh, we'll talk to you next Friday night. Right, sir. This is Case 9 GCR with the Friday Night Fun Net on the uh, K9 RFD repeater in Rockford. Transmitting for Friday Night Fun Net Central in Freeport. It is now 10 p.m. curfew time. Parents, do you know where your children are at? November 9, uh, Tango Alpha. What's the last letter of your call?
stop yelling, stop yelling into the microphone. It would be a lot more pleasant to listen to you if you would stop yelling into the microphone. Okay, uh, is, it any, is that any better? That's much better, much better. Now, if you would talk like that during the Friday night net, I could actually listen to you. But I don't listen to the Friday night net because it's like nails on a chalkboard. Okay, I guess it's a habit I got. I'm, I'm awful sorry about that. In 90 a.m., what's uh, what's happening with you? What are you going to be doing for Labor Day weekend? And the call is November 9, Zulu Alpha Sierra. N9 uh, Zulu Alpha Sierra. Okay, I've got I've got you. Okay, what are you going to be doing for uh, the Labor Day? Labor Day is just another day. I have to work on Labor Day, so it actually doesn't mean anything to me. I'm going to be honest with you. It really doesn't mean much to me either. Well, I work night shift. I work night shift all the time. And I go in Sunday night, and I get off 7 in the morning, and that's my Labor Day. That's it. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, hey, thank you for checking the Friday Night Fun Day. I'm awful sorry about that. I'll, I'll do better. Hopefully we'll catch you next Friday night. It's uh, K-Sign G-Sharp. We'll be clear. Thank you for checking. Have a good weekend. Yeah, just remember, Jimmy, there's no reason to have to yell into that microphone. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Uh, 7-3. Any more station while I'm checking, please call now. Okay, uh, let me give you a rundown of all the other nets we have in the area. Oh boy, okay. Let me get all my papers straightened out here. Okay, uh, the Night Watch net is currently underway. It just got underway. At, uh, it's held on the one of the 443.750 repeater in Chicago with the PL114.8 uh, plus offset. It, uh, it runs every night of the week from 10 to uh, whenever. So uh, I've been listening to that, that net. The condition has been pretty good. So uh, I'm sure that's where Al K9EPG is at now. The Lunch Munch Net is currently held every day, Monday through Friday, at, from 12 p.m. to uh, 1 p.m. Swap Net is held at 12.30 p.m. on the 145.430 uh, 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 repeater in uh, Downers Grove, Illinois, with a PL 107.2 minus uh, offset. Uh, W9UB, DuPage County repeater. I don't know why you go through all that, because everybody already knows. Well, we got some new hams. Uh, we might have some new hams uh, uh, coming in there. I'd like to let them, keep, let them know what's, uh, what's going on there. I'm sure they, they're smart enough to look it up on their own. If they don't, I'm sure they can if they want to know. Sounds, uh, sounds good. Well, uh, that'll save me. That'll save me the, the trouble then. Uh, th uh, thank you very much. Uh, okay. I want to tell you about the uh, Friday Night Fun Net uh, Facebook page. By the way, I had an interview. Brad, uh, formerly AE9G, or you know, uh, he's gone so many, so many call signs that uh, he called me on the phone Saturday. We did a podcast. 
an interview, a live interview on the Friday Night Fun Net Facebook page. You can uh, listen to that uh, interview. Uh, we talk for an hour, and afterwards we talk for another hour on the phone. Well, I hadn't talked to him in a long time. He and I started this net back in the 2008. So, uh, uh, okay. And by the way, uh, uh, Matt, K9MED and Rochelle is recording uh, uh, this this net. So you can hear the... Uh, uh, the, the Friday night fun net. If you didn't, if you missed the net, you can hear it. Or otherwise, you you can hear past uh, the Friday night fun nets. So uh, uh, say it's uh, three o'clock in the morning. You can't uh, sleep. I, I decide I'm gonna I'm gonna turn on the Facebook page and listen to the, the, the Friday night fun net. So that's what uh, that's what we're uh, doing there. Hopefully we'll have it so uh, you'll be able to be Friday night fun net. Uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So that's what uh, we're going to be doing. So. do better. 73, thank you for checking in. Any more stations you want to check in, please call now. Who's this guy? The Grim Reaper? I don't know. N N N nine Z A S. I haven't heard heard him in a, in a while. I, it's it's out of habit like that. I, that's probably the way I, I talk. I don't. I surely don't mean to uh, to do that. Well, hopefully you'll start listening in uh, uh, again. So uh, I want to tell you about the uh, uh, Fr Friday Night Fun Net Facebook page. You see pertinent information about the Friday Night Fun Net. Uh, you see updated pictures of my ham chat, and uh, like I said, you'll be able to hear, hear the that thanks to uh, Mike K9MED. He's uh, uh, recording the net. Like I said, you can hear uh, future uh, uh, nets, or uh, uh, past nets, I should say. So uh, then I want to tell you about the Friday Night Fun Net Hotline, area code 815-232-FN-FN-232-3636. It's a local Freeport number. We've had no hotline check-ins that, that tonight uh, during the net. It's a traditional red desktop touchstone telephone. You hear, uh, hear, uh, hear that phone ring when I'm transmitting. It's a real telephone ring, folks, not that phony, bony cell phone ring. Okay. Any more stations want to check in? Please call now. Okay, I want to tell you. Uh, I want to tell you about the Saturday Night Fun Net. It's held uh, on uh, 146.9 uh, 10 Repair in Milwaukee. PL of uh, 127.3 minus offset. Uh, it's a lot more structured than uh, this one, but uh, that taken a certain way. But uh, it's a good net to check it out. Green County Aries Net is held each and every. Uh, Sunday evening at 7.30 p.m. on the 145.110 repair in Monroe PL of uh, 123.0 minus offset. That with the holiday, there will not be a net this coming uh, Sunday, but there will be one the following Sunday.
the uh, Big Thunder after radio club holds its uh, Sunday evening debt at 8 uh, p.m. on the 147.375 repeater in Bel- Belvedere with the PL 120.100.0 plus offset. The uh, Sterling at the Whiteside County areas net is held every uh, Sunday evening at 8 p.m. on the 146.850 repeater in Sterling with PL 114.8 minus offset. Um, Monday evenings at uh, 7 p.m. either on this repeater or the 146.610 repeater. The uh, Monday night rah rah info net is held. Uh, Larry K9 KZT and I share the duties of net control. The uh, following that uh, net at 8 p.m. on the 146.970 repeater in Dixon PL 82. 82- 82.5 minus offset. The uh, Lee County Aries Races Group holds its uh, money evening net. The uh, Kishwaukee and Fredo Cup holds its uh, Monday evening net at 8.30 p.m. on the 146.730 repair in the Cal with a PL of uh, 100.0 uh, minus offset. Tuesday evenings at uh, 7 p.m. We have the first of two health and welfare nets on this repeater. Health and tech nets, I should say. Uh, it's hosted by uh, Larry uh, Ace9GO, the Ra Ra Board President. And uh, also at 7 p.m. on the 145.450 repeater in uh, Janesville, the PL 123.0 minus offset, the Rock County Public Service Net holds its, uh, uh, is held on that uh, repeater. Okay, uh, Rick, at K9QDP, tell us about your, that long wires net and uh, how many st- check-ins did you have? Okay, he has step, well, I guess he has a step away from the radio. Uh, Rick, uh, K9QDP is net control of the uh, North America Long Wires Net, which meets every Tuesday evening at 8 p.m. on uh, 28.390 uh, megahertz, uh, 10 meters, uh, upper sideband. I think he had nine check-ins this past uh, Tuesday night. The Ogle County Aries uh, Group holds the uh, uh, Ogle County Aries uh, net, amateur radio net, uh, including every sky warm, which meets every uh, Tuesday evening at 9 p.m. on the 147.165 repair in Oregon, the PL 146.2 plus offset. The uh, Stevenson County Aries net meets each and every uh, uh, Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. on the 147.390 repeater here in Freeport, PL 114.8 uh, plus offset. The uh, Greater Boyd and Grado couple just Monday, uh, it's Wednesday evening, then I should say, on the 147.120 repeater in uh, Boyd with PL 123.0 plus offset. That meet that net meets at 7:30 p.m. The uh, Wednesday evening swap net is held here in Freeport on the 147.390 repeater with the PL 114.8 plus uh, offset is held at uh, at uh, 8 p.m. Run from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. is all traffic is handled. I've been filling in his net control station for the past few weeks. This is KD9MAP. 
Uh, Jimmy, those of us who are here every week, uh, we cherish you and we love the way you run the net and that is precisely the reason we keep coming back. I don't know why John is, is acting the way he is tonight. I ask that you disregard him. KD9MAT. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Gary, for your support, for everybody's uh, support. Okay, now, where was I? Oh, yeah, the uh, Thursday evening health and tech net is held every Thursday evening at 7 p.m. on this uh, repeater. I am the uh, net control operator of that net. Also, at 8 p.m. And on the 3-9 repeater, we have the Salvation Army Saturday net. Uh, I am also in net control. I think I had six check-ins last night, so that's a great turn. Okay, the, uh, let me get out my uh, other list here. But I can, oh, yeah, the uh, senile net is held every uh, day, Monday through uh, uh, Friday at 1,400 to 1,500 hours Zulu on uh, 14.287 megahertz, uh, 20 meters upper side band. Chuck, WD9BB is net control of that net. Uh, he takes seconds down away from the local area, but also through a state side. Okay. Now you're all caught up today in your local nets. Support your local net control operators, your local nets, your local repairs, if you're a member of any ham radio club, by all means support your uh, local clubs. All right. Do we have any more stations we want to check in the Friday night fun at this time? Please call now. Okay. Let's see. We got to do the uh, amateur's code. The amateur is considerate. He never knowingly uses the air in such a way as to lessen the pleasure of others. The amateur is loyal. He offers his loyalty, encouragement, and support to his uh, fellow uh, radio amateurs, his local club, and the American Radio Relay League, to which amateur radio is represented. The amateur is progressive. He keeps the station abreast of science. He is well built and efficient. His operating practice is above reproach. Uh, the amateur is uh, friendly, slow and patient, descending when uh, requested, friendly advice and counsel to the beginner. Uh, kind of assistance, cooperation, and consideration for the interests of others. These are marks of the amateur spirit. The amateur is balanced. Radio is his hobby. He never lost his ear River. With any of his duties, he owes his home, his job, his school, or his community. The amateur is patriotic. His knowledge and his uh, station are always ready for the, uh, the services of his country and his community. That's the amateur's goal. You know, down in Louisiana, Texas, over in uh, New York State, New Jersey, wherever. The ham radio operators, Aries, uh, uh, Skywarn, and Saturnet, they're busy working their tails off, trying to get assistance to those uh, people who are in need. That's uh, for sure. So, uh, okay. That's the, that's the amateur's code. As Tony N9RB always says, some to live by nine oil on the radio, but throughout life itself. Okay, are there any more stations who want to check in the Friday Night Fun Net? Please call now. Okay, does anybody have any uh, the extra traffic questions, uh, comments, or input you'd like to bring before the net? I got. Uh, I don't have any traffic over here. There's no cars on the streets. <laughs> Sounds good there. Sounds good. It's good there, uh, uh, Rick. <laughs> okay, I want to thank Dan N9DCH, the trustee of this uh, repair for allowing us to. Users just repaired the whole Friday night fun then when we can't use the 6-1. We could have used it 
tonight, but I thought with the weather, with rating conditions as hard, that I wasn't going to take that chance. That's why I decided to hold it on this repeater. So, uh, okay. Uh, I want to run down the list of stations of check in so far. My one and only early bird check in in 96K, Bob here in Freeport. Okay. 89VU, N9RPN, Mel, in the, the beautiful Wesley Wills. W99WTF, uh, Tom, AC9GO, Larry, Rob, Rob, Born, Press, AC9NW, N9SBJ, K9SBA, KC9QPL, KD9SHG, W9JTC, KD9HKX, KD9KZT, KD9MED was recording this net. Great job, Mike. Well, I want to thank Justin, K9FBO, KD9QDP, uh, Rick, K9MAP, Gary, myself, K9GCR, Net Control, K9RGT, Norm, WX9RLT, uh, Ricky, KD89KF, uh, Jim, KC9CFL, Mike, K9YI, Scott Monroe, checked in on Simplex, K9EPG, Alan Rochelle, happy birthday, Al, KC9JZ, Mike, K9HWK. Uh, AK9F, uh, Dave, K9FLO, N9NQD, Art, and uh, W9N9ZAS. Okay. One early bird check in and got a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, uh, 29, one early bird check-in, 29 on there check-ins, leaves a grand total of 30 check-ins. Are there any more stations who'd like to check in the Friday Night Fun Net? Uh, please call now. Okay. Uh, be sure you tell your mothers, your fathers. Oh, you know what? I gotta do my honorary check-ins. Oh, just a minute. N nine A R B. Tony, I don't know where he's deployed at. He's checked in. He's in Louisiana, Texas. He might be in New York too. N nine E A B. Tracy. H C honorary check-in. Oh, and we mustn't forget the Kishwaukee River Yacht Club. Scott, A, A, 9, Sugar Fox. And, uh, H, C, honorary check-in. And, uh, N, 9, Z, O, one of the best guys in the whole world. He does the check-in on, but he listens every Friday night. Okay. Uh, W, 9, M, S, L. Wynn in Freeport was in the hospital, had a bad fall, he struck his face, he can't talk. Mel, N9RPN, brought me the information. We'll be, we'll be praying for him. Okay, let's see. Oh, the repeater chairman. Uh, Kurt, K, D, 9, N. This is K9GCR, the Friday Night Fun Net on the uh, uh, K9RFD repeater and rapper transmitting for Friday Night Fun Net, Chuck Torrey and Freeport. Any more stations want to check in this time? Please call now. Oh, definitely got checking Brandon. K D 9 L O A. H.C. Honorary Check-In, and uh, John, K.D.9.O.V.J. H.C. Honorary Check-In. Okay. Okay, uh, any more stations want to check in the Friday Night Fun that before I proceed to close it down? Please call now. Okay, be sure you tell your mothers, your fathers, your sons and daughters, your brothers and sisters, your aunts and uncles, your nieces, your nephews, your uh, your uh, grandparents, 
your in-laws, your neighbors across the street, down the street, next door. Be sure you tell your butcher, your baker, your candlestick maker. Be sure you tell the clerk behind the checkout counter at your grocery store. Be sure you tell the clerk behind the counter at your convenience store. Be sure you tell your waiters, your waitresses, your bartenders, and your present people at bars, restaurants, taverns, or pubs. Be sure you tell your stockbroker, your bank and teller, bank president, your local uh, mailman. Be sure to tell members of your local PTA or PTO. Show you tell your priests, your ministers, your rabbis, your mullahs, your ayatollahs, or your imams. Be sure you tell your uh, probation officer, your pro officer, your divorce lawyer. Be sure you tell your boyfriends, your girlfriends, your ex-boyfriends, your ex-girlfriends, your husbands, your wives, your ex-husbands, your ex-wives, your ex-in-laws, of course, your old ladies about Friday night fun. And more check-ins are better than that. Make sure you have valid FCC license before you check in. Sorry, folks, we don't take check-ins from jailbirds, jammers, potty mouths, crackheads, uh, 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 potheads, uh, telemarketers, uh, dopeheads. We don't take uh, check-ins from old uh, grouches either. You don't, uh, uh, if you don't uh, back the bull, we don't take your check-ins. You take a knee at a sporting event, we don't take your check-ins. That's, uh, that's just the way it is. Okay, I want to thank everybody for checking in. A great topic tonight. Uh, what are you doing Labor Day? Like I said, just going to be another weekend uh, for me. I want to thank everybody for participating. With that, uh, uh, this is the last call for any stations. I want to check in the Friday night fun day from everywhere in the region. What's about traffic? Please call case 9 gcr Last call for Ratchet Talk. Okay, tune in again next week for another edition of the Friday Night Fun Net. Until then, this is Jim, K-Sign-GCR. Net control of the Friday Night Fun Net, now closing down this uh, Friday, September 3rd, 2021 edition of Friday Night Fun Net. Return to repair the frequency of normal amp radio use at uh, 10.29 p.m. Central Daylight uh, 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 Time, uh, 3 hours, 20 minutes Zulu Time, and grand total of 38 seconds. So, the reason, everybody, have a safe and sane Labor Day weekend. Please remember, when you sit down to your Labor Day picnic, your dinner Monday, please remember what this holiday is all about and why we celebrate it in honor of our American workers. A motorcycle just went down the street. I think of the late, great Larry Kincaid, KB9RZC. Okay, uh, this is now closed. Repair is now open for normal after radio use. Uh, uh, Sarah Trees, everybody. Uh, Happy Labor Day weekend to all, and to all a good night. This is case on G.C. Shelby Clair. Good night. Uh, good night, Jimmy. Good night, regardless. Thank you very much, uh, Rick. I sure appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks, Jimmy. 73. Good night, Rick. 89 MAP. Uh, good night, Derek Carey. Good night, David. Good night, Chet. Good night for Texaco. KD9QDPL. You bet. You bet. Huntley Brinkley Report. Have a, originally the Camel in the news caravan with the late John Cameron Swayze. <laughs> then Chet Huntley and David Brinkley took over. They were the best as far as I'm concerned. K9GCR73. Back there, back then, they reported the news. You know, they left their personal opinions out of it. Uh, that's when newscasting was worthwhile listening to. You damn right they did. You bet. That was a newsmen were newsmen back then. <laughs>